So last night, we witnessed American sports history as the Houston Rockets were able to do something that no other major American sports team has ever done. And today, we're going to be talking about why the Houston Rockets look like they have the brightest future of any young team in the NBA currently. What's up, guys? SCJ here. And if you enjoyed today's video, then make sure to give it a like as it helps out a lot. And if you're new to the channel and or enjoy the NBA, then make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell. So last night, the Houston Rockets won their sixth straight game as they got a nice double-digit win in New Orleans against the Pelicans by a score of 118 to 108. This was a huge win for the Rockets as, like mentioned in the intro, the team made American sports history. Last night, the Houston Rockets became the first team in the NBA, NHL, MLB, or NFL to win six straight games immediately after losing 15 straight games as the Rockets lost their opening night game of the season, won their second game, then proceeded to lose games 3 through 17. That's an absolute crazy stat for sure, and while they have beaten some pretty bad teams during this six-game winning streak, the first two of the six games that they won were against playoff teams as they beat the second seed in the East, the Chicago Bulls, and followed that up with a win against the East's six-seeded Charlotte Hornets. So while the team has definitely had some competition on the easier side as of late, it's important to factor a few things in, including how much the team's improved statistically. From the beginning of the season until they started this winning streak, the Rockets were the third worst team in the points per game category as they barely averaged 100 points per game, which is safe to say isn't going to lead to good results in today's offensive driven NBA. Ever since then though, the Houston Rockets have averaged the second most points per game in the league, making a near 20 point jump in terms of their scoring average. Prior to November 24th, the Rockets also had the sixth worst field goal percentage as well as the third worst three point percentage in the entire National Basketball Association, but now they have shot the fifth best percentage from the field and from beyond the arc as well, which is very impressive. One area in which they definitely need to improve in is rebounding, as they've actually worsened in that area over the win streak. However, one area that they've quite literally gone from worst to first in is assists per game. Prior to November 24th, the Rockets were averaging the least amount of assists per game in the league with 20.2 per game. Now they're leading the NBA, averaging 29.3 assists per game, and that's honestly crazy in my opinion. Another area in which they've been excellent in is blocks per game as they're the fifth best team in that category since November 24th and Christian Wood and Jay Sean Tate might have something to do with that as Christian Wood has had four multi-block games over this six game win streak and Jay Sean Tate had a monstrous game on December 1st where he had five blocks to go along with his career high 32 points on 11 for 15 shooting as well as 10 rebounds, seven assists and two steals. Now, one area that they'll need to improve in is in terms of stopping their opponents from scoring as they have had the 12th worst defensive rating in the NBA. However, one area that they haven't been terrible in is in transition defense as they've allowed the 11th least amount of points per game on the fast break. Despite having a poor defensive rating, the Rockets have held their opponents to the 9th worst field goal percentage and the 2nd worst 3 point percentage since November 24th, which is great. The Rockets have also held their opponents to the ninth least amount of rebounds and the fourth least amount of assists as well. Now, yet again, another critique or area they'll need to clean up is their points given up per game to their opponents, as despite forcing their opponents to shoot low percentages, they've allowed their opponents to get the seven most points per game, so they'll for sure need to clean that up. Now, looking at their individual player stats, the Rockets have had six different players average double-digit point totals for them this season. That's of course very good and bodes great for the team's future. Christian Wood has been great as he's averaged double digit rebounds as well and Jay Sean Tate is a guy that I believe I brought up in a video last season but I have thought highly of him since last season and believe he's a very important young player to watch out for in the league. However, one thing that's important to mention is the fact that the team has really struggled to stay healthy this season and I personally think that's one of the reasons that the team's record is as bad as it is. Now, I don't think they would be dominating the NBA or even be a playoff team if they were able to stay more healthy, but the team has had one of their first round picks, Josh Christopher, only averaging seven and a half minutes a game in only 15 games. Daniel House has missed seven games. Kevin Porter Jr. has missed four games. And second overall pick, Jalen Green, has missed five of the games and has been dealing with a hamstring injury in five of the six games during this win streak. So team health has been one issue they've dealt with and they very well may have a bit of a better record if they had all of their guys healthy for just a few more games this season. 
So this Rockets team has a very bright future as Christian Wood has played excellent for them since he arrived in Houston last season and building around Jalen Green, Kevin Porter Jr. and of course Christian Wood as well as developing guys such as Jay Sean Tate and adding in new pieces in the draft of free agency will be huge for them. It's also important to mention that John Wall is trying to return soon and be an integral part of this Rockets roster. So they will only approve when that does happen. And while I don't believe that they will find themselves fighting for a playoff or playing spot this season, I think they have a number of players with chips on their shoulder to build around, as well as veterans such as Wall, Gordon, and Tice. And I truly do believe this team has one of the brightest young futures of any young team currently in the NBA. So anyway, guys, I want to know what you guys think about this Rockets team, any of their players, or just anything having to do with the team down below in the comments section. If you made it all the way through to the end of this video, then I appreciate it. And like I said before, if you like this video, then make sure to give it a like because it helps out a lot. And if you're new to the channel and or enjoy the NBA, then make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell. That way you stay up to date with all the newest content on my channel. And anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching. Once again, I'm SCJ and I am out. Peace.